it was a career resurrected by Marvin Lewis, but Lewis refuses to take credit for what's become of Vontez Perfect. He, he's done it, and uh, you know, uh, I, I'm proud. I'm, at, I'm proud for him of what he's done, and uh, you know, I don't take any credit uh, his away from what he has done. Perfect was high on talent, low on attitude, and after a disastrous performance at the NFL Combine in 2012, left in limbo on draft day. No team, not even the Bengals, spent a draft pick on Perfect. But Lewis had taken a special interest in him, flew to Arizona to lunch with Perfect, and on completion of that 2012 draft, remembered the linebacker who at one point was the rage of college football. And then Lewis thought of someone else. And literally the very first practice that we had in rookie camp, I told Mike Brown, he's special. And and I said, I don't mean to overstate this, but he's special. He reminds me of another guy I've coached. That would be Ray Lewis, the same Ray Lewis who will be in Canton, Ohio shortly. Perfect has a long way to go before he reaches that destination, but he's off to a terrific start. He wound up leading the NFL in tackles this year, but he also committed nine personal foul penalties this season, six for unnecessary roughness. Perfect brushes off talk of his tackles or his proclivity for penalties. His focus, he says, is Sunday and the Chargers. But I feel like a lot of guys are anxious to get this game on the, underway, um, especially on defense. You know, we, we all had a little chip on our shoulder today, especially for walkthroughs. And um, I think that everybody's you know, more focused this week and we just want to get that chip on our shoulder and get a win. But it's clear Burfick's future in the NFL is extremely bright, much more so than what it was just two short winters ago. His, his mark will be left by, by winning championships, and that's what Ray's done as well. Lofty company to be in, indeed.